I don't know if this is readable through this wonky camera or whatever. I'm making celery salad. Come along, and I'll tell you as I go along what we need. I'll read it real quickly, and then we'll go step by step. One bunch celery, finely sliced. Onion, it depends on your taste for onion. Half an onion, quarter of an onion. I use about one to two tablespoons of finely chopped onion. Sunflower seeds, semi-hard cheese, I use manchego. You can use Pecorino Romano, Iberico, Parmigiano, Asiago, Gruyere, that kind of thing. For fun, you can put in string cheese sliced up, a nice crisp apple, peeled or not, cut into little thin slices, parsley or cilantro. For the dressing, is orange juice and olive oil. And it's always better after it sits a day. Okay, I've got my ingredients and I forgot to mention one. I'll have to write it on my little typed up thing. I also will add sweetened dried cranberries. They're from Trader Joe's. First of all, I rinsed off the celery. I'm going to cut it up into little pieces. You can cut it as thin as you want, or at an angle so that they're larger odd uh, shaped pieces. This bunch of uh, celery is not as big as the first one, it seems, but it'll make enough to eat for a couple meals or you know, like that. I'm not one of those wizards if you cut this up in uh, 10 seconds. No more. I have Cutco knives, which are good knives. I just don't have the kind that go through everything like butter. Probably need sharp. They're expensive knives. This bunch of celery came out to just about four cups. Okay. I don't have much room, so I've got to play, move this to go there and all that. Onion. I don't use on this kind of onion very often. I use dried, uh, hydrate, or what do you call it? Dehydrated onion? Because if I don't use it very often, it, this thing will go funky and slimy and nobody wants that. Oh, there's a center thingy. How can I get rid of that? I don't know. Conceivably, if you had a food processor that could cut things into large chunks, you could use that instead of taking time to do this. But this is kind of uh, relaxing in a way. Like drawing, where you just kind of almost mindlessly can do something. You know it needs to be all chopped up, so you just kind of go to it. It's not so bad. Some people like a lot of onion. I don't. My mother used to put everything with the onions. I mean, she was basically onions with whatever else she had. I prefer not to have something with my onions. I prefer to have onions with my whatever else. Oops, don't cut your hand off. There'll be an extra protein in here. I know the proper way to cut is to do this. 
too lazy. At the end of the day, I'm not feeling the best. I'm trying to stay by less weight. Since I was sick, I, got, I lost like 8 pounds. And I'm trying to stay there or lose. Not easy when you, you get kind of hungry again and you want to chow down. They're like raisins or craisins or whatever you call them. You don't have to put too much in. You can put as much or as little as you want. That's what, with a salad or a casserole or anything, you put what you like. And if, you, if it has an ingredient that's not inter, integral to the recipe and you don't like it, don't put it in. Or put less of it in. If it still needs that flavor, just don't put as much in. Life's too short. You can be sick all the time. Enough things in life will make you sick. <laughs> like what's going on around you in the world. I must be feeling better because I want to pop some of this in your my mouth and, and eat it, but. It will really be much better after I make a salad with it. Some people put grapes. They have a recipe for, uh, what is that salad? Oh, chicken salad. It's got grapes in it. Oh, man, very good. You can put nuts in here if you wish. The closest I'm getting to putting nuts in here is the sunflower seeds. Another piece fall on the floor. Oh, God, it. My fat stomach didn't stop it. All right, onions, sunflower seeds, and a couple, maybe a tablespoon. And cheese stick for fun. It's a string cheese. It's like mozzarella. It's kind of soft. Oh, I forgot to bring the apple out of the fridge. Cheese sticks are a really cool little snack to have if you have grandkids. Kitty cat trying to see on top of the counter when he wants. There's nothing up here for you, buddy. Not right now, anyway. I have a, an affinity for this manchego cheese from Spain. There's Iberico from, I think, near Spain or something. It's almost crumbly, almost. It adds a really nice taste. I mean, there, some of the other, I love Parmesan and I like Gruyere. Gruyere had a little more sourness to it, like Swiss cheese. You could put that in there too if you want. I think I'll put a little more manchego in there because I really enjoy it a lot. I got mine at uh, Trader Joe's. Wherever you buy your cheese, that has a cheese counter. I think you can get it wherever they have a cheese counter at your store. I don't mean someone sitting there counting cheese. One, two, three. I mean the counter that has a case with cheese in it. Sorry if this is boring. Put in cilantro. I don't know. Maybe half a teaspoon. And the last but not least ingredient 
before I put the dressing together is an apple. This is half of an apple because I already made a, a batch of salad and it's all gone. With the other, I, the, the celery came in two bunches in a bag. So I used one bunch and half an apple, blah, blah, blah. I like Honeycrisp and if you can't find those, Golden Crisp, whatever like that. And uh, just adds a really nice moist spritz of apple in your mouth. Mmm. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. Gotta have some. Mmm. 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 Makes my tail wiggle. Also, the apple kind of counteracts the onion. I don't, it has uh, healing properties in the apple and mostly in the skin. There's some kind of enzyme or something that is put off that is good. Spencer was eating an apple yesterday and he <laughs> answered the door and he goes, uh, he goes, I'm eating an apple. It's good for me. Oh, yes, it is. Mmm. Oh, my God. Big bowl of stuff. This is only for me, so I'm using my hands until I get to the dressing part. I don't want the oils to fall over me. I use orange juice and olive oil. It's like a oil and vinegar type thing. The orange juice, the citric acid in the orange juice will also keep the apple from turning brown, from oxidizing. The thing is, I if I buy a giant thing of orange juice, it'll go bad before I can use it up. Because it's just me. So I'm gonna pour. Oops. About four ounces of this uh, eight ounce container. So it's four ounces of the orange juice. I guess it's about a tablespoon of oil. I'm using olive oil. When I do it this way, it's really cool because I can use this little bottle to shake it up. I pour it on there. Stir it all up. It'll be better tomorrow. The hard part is going to be waiting until it is better. I put it in a little container. This makes about one of the six cups. This container holds a little more than six cups. And when I go to eat it tomorrow, I can shake it around like this because the, the liquid will settle to the bottom. And then it'll be ready to eat. Ho 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 yum. I want some.